The most important problem in the sports industry is that media owners receive all the profit while the fans don't get a cent. We decided to solve this problem by combining blockchain technology with a strong economic model. Our solution has three core principles. First, supporting Scorum cryptocurrency with a real economy. Second, rewarding all of the participants of the Scorum ecosystem. And finally, distributing benefits with a clear and fair manner, moderated by the user community. As we create Scorum, we follow simple and straightforward call. Build beautiful and functional product that fits into sport fans' daily lives. We adhere to a user-centered design approach and work in close collaboration with sport pluggers, journalists and analysts. This helps us to define a value proposition of every single feature and provide a seamless user experience. Right now, advanced sports data is only available to a limited number of people. But we're making sports analytics easily accessible to the public by integrating business intelligence tools from Microsoft. Scorum writers can take advantage of this instrument paired with editorial tools to create stunning content, packed with data-rich visuals. In the world of modern sports analytics, nothing beats cool data visuals. We are building the Scorum blockchain on the Graphene framework and going to utilize all the power of its free and fast transactions. There are two things in Scorum that I'm most excited about. The first one is the reward system, powered by decentralized profit sharing. And the second one is distributed development fund. All these blockchain-powered technologies ensure a stable, secure and transparent economic model. Our company has an ambitious goal to change the way people look at sport. And we have everything necessary in order to achieve it. The latest technology, strong economy and the most important is our experienced, flexible and skilled team. All this provides early adopters with remarkable growth opportunities. Don't miss the Scorum Crowd Sale.